The finding in the temple, also called Christ among the doctors, or the disputation, the usual names in art, was an episode in the early life of Jesus depicted in the Gospel of Luke. It is the only event of the later childhood of Jesus mentioned in a gospel. Topic. Gospel account Topic. The episode is described in Luke chapter 2 verses 41 to 52. Jesus at the age of 12 accompanies Mary, Joseph and a large group of their relatives and friends to Jerusalem on pilgrimage, according to the custom that is, Passover. On the day of their return, Jesus lingered in the temple, but Mary and Joseph thought that he was among their group. Mary and Joseph headed back home and after a day of travel realized Jesus was missing, so they returned to Jerusalem, finding Jesus three days later, he was found in the temple in discussion with the elders. They were amazed at his learning, especially given his young age. When admonished by Mary, Jesus replied, How is it that you sought me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? The story was slightly elaborated in later literature, such as the apocryphal 2nd century infancy Gospel of Thomas 19-1-12. The losing of Jesus is the third of the seven sorrows of Mary, and the finding in the temple is the fifth joyful mystery of the rosary. In art this event is frequently shown in art, and was a common component in cycles of the life of the Virgin as well as the life of Christ. In early Christian depictions, Jesus is usually shown in the center, seated on a raised dais surrounded by the elders, who are often on stepped benches. The gesture usually made by Jesus, pointing to his upraised thumb illustration, may be a conventional rhetorical gesture expressing the act of expounding text. These depictions derive from classical compositions of professors of philosophy or rhetoric with their students, and are similar to medieval depictions of contemporary university lectures. This composition can appear until as late as Angra Montauban, Musée Angra 1 and beyond. From the early medieval period the moment shown is usually assimilated to the finding itself, by the inclusion of, initially, Mary, and later Joseph as well, usually at the left of the scene. Typically, Jesus and the doctors, intent on their discussions, have not noticed them yet. From the 12th century Jesus is often seated in a large throne-like chair, sometimes holding a book or scroll. In late medieval depictions, the doctors, often now carrying or consulting large volumes, may be given specifically Jewish features or dress, and are sometimes overtly anti-Semitic caricatures, like some of the figures in Albrecht Dürer's version in the Thyssen-Bornemisza Museum in Madrid. From the High Renaissance onwards, many painters showed a close-up of the scene, with Jesus closely surrounded by gesticulating scholars, as in Dürer's version of the subject. Rembrandt, who enjoyed depicting Jewish elders in the temple in various subjects, made three etchings of the subject Barch 64 as well as one of the much more unusual scene of Jesus returning from the temple with his parents B60. The pre-Raphaelite painter William Hallman Hunt painted a version called The Finding of the Saviour in the Temple, now at Birmingham, as one of a number of subjects from Jesus's life, for which he travelled to the Holy Land to study local details. The subject has attracted few artists since the 19th century, and one of the last notable depictions may be the one painted, as a forgery of a Vermeer, by Han van Meegeren in front of the Dutch police, in order to demonstrate that the paintings he had sold to Hermann Göring were also fake. See also Seven Sorrows of Mary Topic. References Topic. Topic. Main source Topic. G. Schiller, Iconography of Christian Art, Vol. I, 1971 English translation from German, Lund Humphreys, London, pp. 124-5 and Figs, ISBN 0-85331-270-2.